Hello, it's uh, Mustafa here from Performance Inn, and we're at PLI 2019, and I'm sitting with uh, Partnerizes um, co-founder and VP of Revenue, Sean Sewer. How are you doing, Sean? Hey, Mustafa, good, thank you. Oh, and it's great to have you guys involved with PR Live this year. Uh, you know, how's the event been for your team and why is it such an important event in the calendar year? Uh, I think this event in particular is great because uh, it, you're getting everyone from the industry into one place. Um, and from our perspective, you know, there's a big shift from uh, network managed to SaaS. Um, and it's kind of like a tipping point in, in my opinion. So this is great timing from our perspective. Oh, great stuff. And we got a question on that uh, a little bit later on. Uh, but sort of touch on P Partner Eyes, you know, it's been a big year for you guys. To sort of talk about a little bit and the sort of the products and offerings you've got. And, you know, you mentioned some of uh, some that have uh, sort of shaped the course of the partnership and performance as well. So can you run through some of these practices, kind of like what direct results this has had on the clients and the industry? Yeah, I think uh, our kind of vision for the product is very much kind of machine and AI driven uh, to drive as much automation as possible. Um, so from that, you know, you don't need as much of a managed service from that perspective. Um, and that's like what we're seeing from our, from our client's perspective is um, more time to focus on the partner relationships rather than the admin and the kind of spent times in reports, for example. That's a big thing. And then with our most recent update in terms of uh, intelligent partner discovery, so if brands are looking to expand out, then it's almost like a, a net, Netflix referral. You know, you watch this, you'll like this. You work with this partner, this partner will also be very good. Uh, and that seems to be going down really well with our advertiser base. Cool, great stuff. And like, um, yeah, we talked about sort of partner marketing sort of being heavily discussed this year um, and discussed at the show as well. Um, and also, we, you know, we just referenced the sort of the shift from network to SaaS. And it's, you know, some people sort of branding part, partner marketing or partnerships as sort of as a replacement for affiliate marketing or essentially an extension of it. So what are your thoughts on this? And do you see this as sort of the future direction where the industry is going? Yeah, I think, uh, I think partnerships is, is, uh, is, is, is the umbrella upon which affiliate is one of those types of partnerships that sits underneath that. So it used to be described as affiliate, the umbrella, but now I think it's very much partnerships, the umbrella. Um, and you know, you've got your affiliates that sit under that, but then the role of the typical affiliate manager is changing. They're very, very, very much geared and tasked towards finding new types of partnerships. So it's becoming a little bit more biz devy from that perspective. So it's not about just going out and finding a load of publishers who can drive clicks. It's about value, it's about lifetime value, it's about partnerships with banks, with loyalty, with airlines. You know, it's outside of what is traditionally you would view as maybe affiliate from that perspective. Oh, great stuff. And um, sort of AI, you mentioned about earlier on, sort of been a key part behind part of the nice continued growth in your product offerings. And you, we sort of continue to see real time application now, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it, you know, there's been, the, it's been a sort of, you know, claim as it being a buzzword, but now we're seeing real time application, which is great to see. Can we all kind of agree as an industry now that it's just more than just a buzzword? Oh, 100%. I mean, it's a buzzword if you haven't got it. <laughs> but uh, if you're actually using it and deploying machine learning, then uh, it's definitely not, you know, it's, it's an integral part of the, of the infrastructure that you're building upon now. And, uh, you know, the, the machine learning, that can help with the automation of things. It can make, make decisions of things. And, you know, if you're managing partners at scale um, and you haven't got eyes on every single partner, then that machine learning piece can kick in and take the weight of that from it. And, you know, I think that partnership marketing and affiliate is, is, is starting to come into its own in that area now, especially through the SaaS platform offerings. Um, but other, other channels have had it for a while, yeah. and, and now we're kind of bridging that gap. Cool, great stuff. And sort of last question, yeah, we're 2020 on the horizon. Are there any key development, developments or news from partner eyes that we should keep, keep, an, eye, keep an eye out for? Um, in, in terms of, you know, I think we're already global, which is good. We're expanding people even more into Asia. You know, we've been in that territory now for six years. Uh, so we've got quite a good footprint and we know all the partners from that perspective. But in terms of the vision, just more automation in the platform, uh, moving more and more uh, big enterprise brands onto like a SaaS offering from a platform perspective. Yeah, and that's kind of like the vision. We're just going to keep doing what we've been doing for the last 10 years. And uh, yeah, and executing smarter, I guess. Oh, brilliant! That's great. Some uh, great insight there, Sean. Thanks again for taking the time to talk to, to performance in, and great to have you guys involved with PR Live. So all the best uh, for 2020 and going forward. We'll catch you soon. Thanks very much. Cheers, Mustafa. Thanks. Cheers.